Hey guys, what's up? Vero here, currently on my Holy Paladin Veronica Mars, bringing you just a really quick video about the inscription changes that happened this week in Mr. Pandera. Um, the patch notes for Tuesday, I guess it was more of a hot fix than a patch note, but um, one of the things that was going to be changed was that you were going to be able to turn in Ink of Dreams instead of, I think before it was Black Follow Ink, I believe. Um, and it ended up not going in effect on Tuesday. And so there's this like whole issue with it, and it was really frustrating. And finally, Blizzard figured out whatever problem was with it, and it has now taken effect. Um, so I'm going to go show you those changes real quick. As you can see, I have a lot of Ink of Dreams, and I have a whole bunch of Shadowy Pigment. I actually have more than that. It's not even funny. And I'm talking to one of my friends right now. Um, I told him about the ink changes. Both of us have been stockpiling ink. It's actually quite sad. But um, quick warning i'm currently dog sitting so if you hear barking in the background it's them uh, this is like the third time i'm having to record this video so i'm just going to record it and try to edit them out if i have to um i think there's a cat outside and they started freaking out but anyway so go to the inscription trainer and you can turn in one ink of dreams for most of them um the only ones that require 10 are inferno ink snowfall ink and starlight uh, the ones that we're actually going to be after are going to be the Starlight inks. Um, it's definitely completely worth it. I don't know how many people actually know that the changes went in effect. I've just been checking it every day um, and reading up on the forums, and I just noticed that they changed it. So I'm going to open up this. What I actually do is I do Scroll of Wisdom every day, every time I reset, so that I can actually make the Dark Moon Fair cards. I've been making those... Um, I already made one, so I don't have any scroll of wisdoms. I've been making those every day. Originally, I was making it so that I could create one of the trinkets, the healing trinket for my resto jury, which is actually a pretty nice trinket. Um, and so that's what I've been doing. But now I've just been making them, the, making the cards by themselves just to sell. Since they upped the oxen card, which is the tanking one, it's improved a lot more so it's a little bit more worthwhile than what it was before. I actually made my card already today and I got a four of tigers which right now is going for almost 10,000. So I'm gonna list the cards that I have and then I'm also gonna try and list some of the ink and see if maybe those sell. Um, it looks like they're still listed at about 400 on the auction house so maybe those will sell, maybe they won't. I'm currently sitting at about 29,000. I'm close to 30,000. I recently had over 40 and then, like I said, I made the trinket, and then I was making a bunch of other stuff, like the offhand and things. So that definitely depleted my gold to less than, I think I was sitting at like 10 or 15. But now I'm already back up to 30 just by making these cards every day. So if you have an inscriptor, I would, if the cards are selling well on your server, I would definitely recommend making them. Because it's actually pretty good profit, um, depending on which card it is. Even some of them, I think the cheapest one I sold was five or six thousand so but those are the ink changes so again for every 10 ink of dreams you have you can turn it into one starlight which is completely worth it if they're selling well on your server and if the cards are also doing well and i think eventually i'll probably make some more offhands to sell um i made one already for my character so but maybe even make when i start actually farming on this character maybe start making these staffs and things so that i can make the BOA staff, but I will talk to you guys later if you have any questions or anything, any particular video that you would like to see on any of my characters or about any of the professions that I have, please let me know in the comments or you can contact me through YouTube, Twitter, or my email. But I will talk to you guys later. I am completely excited about these inscription changes. I, I assume probably the Starlight Ink is probably going to go down a lot more in price on the auction house, but I'm hoping maybe it'll be worth it to sell those because I have so many of these <laughs> that I need to get rid of them. But I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a wonderful day and goodbye.